Hey guys, Jason here for Chart Guys, taking a look at silver. Silver has lost a couple key daily supports with a loss of 1716 and 1689. Currently forming a little bit of consolidation here. Our next supports are down at 1653, then 1592 should we get there. We have the potential to set up a daily bear flag, which would have us looking for another few days of a similar range, similar lack of commitment, and then further downside. We'll see, of course, what happens. Anything can happen. We just simply have to speculate and plan for possible scenarios and make our decisions as those scenarios evolve. On the daily time frame, bears are in control of pretty much everything. I suspect that we might see a little bit of strength on the hourly time frame. Let's check out the four. We can still see bears are not in, or bulls are not in control of the four hour time frame, setting higher, high, lower highs and lower lows. 1669 looks to be a key support. And I'm only interested in this, we did flush below it, but we saw a lot of uh, buying of the dip, so to speak, as that occurred. So we'll need to see if and when we get back to 1669, what sort of price action do we see? Is this a zone of support we need to pay attention to? So far it is. So I'll be watching for some sort of support right around that 1669 level to 1666 level. But in the four hour time frame, bears are in control. On the hourly, looks like we are in a little bit of a fight. No real clarity here. We had a little bit of an EQ. We broke bull. That was rejected. Bears attacked and bulls denied that by buying the dip. And now we're currently pinned between our EMA5 and EMA26. So if bulls are going to get control of the four hour time frame, they're going to need to get over 1694, establish a higher low over 1666 and that 1669 level of support and see if they can't carry things on like that. Higher lows, higher highs, carry that over in the four hour time frame. And then we're going to deal with our EMI 26 and our EMI 12, see what the price action is there, and see if we can't get a stronger move. Now, what happens if we get into a situation where we control the hourly time frame? Let's say we do that, and then we simply go sideways, lower high, lower low, higher low, higher high, and we just sort of dawdle around with a lot of clarity and a lot of direction. If we zoom out, we can see that on the daily time frame, that ends up being that bear flag that we are worried about. So we'll watch for that lack of commitment, lack of direction. And if we don't see any real trend changes that have a lot of follow through, we're going to be looking for that bear flag. And we will watch it as it develops for the next couple of days. And we'll point out those key levels for execution if and when they show up. But that's what I'd be watching for right now. Very interesting potentials. A lot of potential money to be made with a bear position on silver. Although we are getting close to that daily oversold level. So keep an eye on these daily supports and we will check in tomorrow.